Hi, my name is Lisa Jacobson. I live in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I started a pet sitting business through Rover.com, which is an on-site platform that matches local pet sitters with people needing care. My niche is um, particularly caring for older dogs and dogs that have special needs. And those dogs just wouldn't thrive in a kennel environment. Things were going really well um, on Rover until I had a knock at my door from an investigator with the Colorado Department of Agriculture. She told me that I needed to immediately remove my profile from Rover because I was violating the law since I was pet sitting without a license or pay a $300 application fee to the Colorado Department of Agriculture to apply for licensure. I learned subsequently that no in-home pet sitters were ever approved for licensure. I um, decided to remove my profile from the Rover platform because I just couldn't afford to face legal consequences and fines and penalties. And my pet sitting income immediately dropped to zero. I contacted Rover headquarters to let them know what was happening and they assured me that I was not alone. They had feet on the ground in Colorado. They actually found um, bipartisan support in the House of Representatives to introduce legislation to remedy the situation. In my conversation with the investigator from the Department of Agriculture, I asked her why I had been reported, um, if there had been complaints from my neighbors or a client, and she assured me that the only complaint she had received was from a large commercial kennel in the area. I went to Denver to testify before a house subcommittee. I just shared my story and um, waited to see what would happen, but fortunately at the end of the day, um, people realized how ridiculous um, the existing legislation was. One of the representatives on the committee questioned um, the representative from the Department of Agriculture and said, if I'm understanding this correctly, it sounds like my family is breaking the law. Um, I have a daughter who's 13 and she occasionally cares for a cage of gerbils when her friend's family goes on vacation and they pay her $20 for gerbil care and the representative from agriculture said, well, technically, yes, you are breaking the law. The bill passed and went to the governor's desk. He signed it, and now um, it's legal to care for up to three pets in your home. Um, so I'm very thankful. I restored my business. I have over 20 repeat customers, and um, I'm still getting new customers, and I'm doing something that I love, and it benefits my family financially, so I'm really thankful.